Hey, how you guys doing? Publisher journey video of the day. Um, good day today. Um, worked on my publishing business behind the scenes. Um, working on a new book. I, I know I mentioned it about it. This time, I'll, I'll mention the topic because I have so many books coming out. I'm not as like scared that someone's gonna take my idea. Like, by the time you take my idea, I have another idea that I'm working on. So it's like. And I, I like talking on the video for my publisher journey video. So, you know, just document my journey. So I'm working on a book about jobs and careers. So I found, I, I was looking at uh, images, potential images to use for the book cover. I like to use depop, depositphotos.com. If I don't find the right image, I look at shutterstock.com. So I, I was looking through images. It was very difficult to find the keyword jobs and careers. But uh, I didn't really find the image I was looking for today, to be honest with you. Uh, but uh, I, I found a couple of images that I might go with. We will see because it's, I don't want it to be about just one. When I was looking at images, it was just one person doing one type of work. I don't want that. I want it about all industries as best as possible. So an encompassing type of image, okay? Comprehensive, thorough type of image. That's, that's what I want because this book is not just about one industry in, in careers. It's all industries. On top of that, I'm working on my next book, this, which I will share with you. The next book is about all hobbies, all types of popular hobbies for all categories from A to Z for one book. I worked on uh, chapter one already, creating the content. For me, like I like to just create content right now. That's my... That's just the way I like to do it. I like to create the content first. And I'll d deal with the formatting, publishing, design all later. Okay, because it starts. Everything starts from the content. So I'm working on a book about all hobbies from A to Z. Actually, it's going to be 101 hobbies into one book. 101 of the most popular, you know, types of hobbies for all types of categories. That's what I. I'm using AI, so I asked AI, give me the top 101 hobbies for all types of hobbies that are popular and covers all types of categories. So it gave me a list. It gave me a, uh, like 10 different categories, and then under each one, there's like 10 hobbies and whatnot to make it 101 hobbies. So stay tuned. Uh, I worked on chapter one, and this is getting crazy because it's a book not just about one topic when i do a book about just one topic it turns out into using ai it turns to like around forty thousand to fifty thousand words which is still long Com compared to when i used to work with writers it was thirty thousand words right like 100 pages under 20 pages but now with ai there's no cap there's just there's no limit and I'm doing this particular book. It's kind of like a comprehensive compilation type of book, not just about one particular hobby, which I will do in the future, but it's more about all hobbies into one book. That's, I had an idea about that, you know? You know I'm like, you know what? Let me do a, a book about all careers in one book, all hobbies in one book, and down the line, you know, all types of, uh, all types of uh, nature in one book, all types of animals in one book. Etc. 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 So I worked on chapter one, doing like ten hobbies. It came out to, as of right now, it's sixteen thousand words. So you do the math: sixteen thousand times ten chapters. How many? How many, how many words is that? That's one hundred sixty-five thousand words, guys. This may be my longest book, and I'm just getting started. I'm like I said before, like. It's just crazy. Like, it's just crazy how AI is compared to working with, it's, it's like back, it's like a person who never used a calculator before. You know, they had to do this all manually, math. Now I feel like I got a calculator. It's, it's like, it's crazy, especially for the writing industry. So I'm telling you, especially if you're a publisher and you want to learn how to use this new technology, AI, I have a course, a training. Okay, or you need coaching, click the link below the video and check out my training. I'm telling you, 
to create a 160,000 word book or even a 100,000 word book. We will see how long the book becomes. That would take months, multiple months to get that book. It will cost potentially thousands of dollars to hire a freelancer to get to that word count. You know? And on top of that, you're not guaranteed grammatically, it's going to be grammatically correct. You know, you, get, you, you might need an editor for that. That's going to cut you another more, more money. So, like, with AI, it's just amazing. It's, I'm still, like, shocked by it. And part of me wants to just sit down and just create content all day and all night long. If but With AI, I have no excuse now. You know, like, I could just sit down and work on my business all day and all night long, like a 24 hours, seven days a week machine. But to be honest, like, I don't want to do that either, you know? It's just too, that's too much. I wear myself out just working all day. So, I just want, you know, I'm trying to find the balance. Work, life, work like balance, as, as, as they say, right? I know some extreme entrepreneurs, they don't believe in balance at all. And that's, that's them. For me, I believe in balance because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, life is important, right? And on your deathbed, people say that one of the biggest regrets that people have is, I wish I didn't work too much. I love what I do. Don't get me wrong. I love what I do. But uh, I don't want to be a robot, you know, just working on my publishing business all day, all night long. You know, there's more things to do, right? So that's where I'm at right now. Um, trying to find that balance of, publishing and also living my life you know that's why I sometimes you know doing my online business became my hobby so I had no other hobbies you know back in the days when I was younger taekwondo was a passion of mine I wanted to be a taekwondo master back in the days when I was a young kid but you know I got older now I'm not I'm not young anymore so I let go of that dream and, you know, I had different hobbies all, all throughout my life, but I lost my hobbies, you know? So now my new hobby is just like, you know, it used to be internet marketing. What I, For me, when I focus on one thing, I just go all the way. That's all I focus on. I don't have any other hobbies. And I know people are a lot, a lot of entrepreneurs are like that. They just focus on their business all the way. And, you know, a lot of people are like that, so. It's cool for them. They'll build, they're building their business. But at the end of the day, you know, there's more to life than just business and work, right? Now, thanks to my business, I'm able to, you know, experience work. A lot of people, for example, if you're into basketball, thanks to basketball, you're introduced to all types of things. You know, you're able to travel the world thanks to basketball. A lot of basketball players. So they focus on basketball only, but... What I'm trying to say is like right now, I'm trying to figure out like what's the perfect balance for me. Like I like working, but like I'm trying to change it up right now. I'm, I'm in the middle of my journey trying to change it up. Like back in the days for me, it was cool just working on my business and that was it. And not even trying to, not even traveling, not even exploring, you know, working at the same office. Not really going to a lot of different places, but you know, as I get older, I'm, I'm trying out different places, you know. I'm trying to explore, but that takes a lot of energy and effort as well, you know. So I feel like a new chapter is needed for me, uh, you know, somehow in some way. And I'm trying to figure that out, you know, as I go along right now. Um, I think discovering AI was a good thing for me this year. Um, I'm also doing direct selling. I delegated it now. Uh, majority of the Facebook ads, I'm setting up the Shopify. But um, the AI is really making, keeping me busy. You know, prior to AI, me deciding to go with AI, I was still doing it the old way, hiring freelancers. And year after year, it just seemed like it was very difficult to find freelancers, you know. And I would catch a lot of freelancers using AI to answer cover letter answers. I know. 
Okay, I, I could tell. How? Because they don't fill in the blanks, you know? You know, they have a default message that just sounds exactly like ChatGPT. So even the freelancers are using ChatGPT to answer questions. When I specifically told the uh, cover uh, in, on the job description, do not use ChatGPT. If I'm working with freelancers, I don't want to hire freelancers who use ChatGPT. Okay, if I use ChatGPT, I'll use it. But if I'm hiring you, I don't want you to use ChatGPT. What's the point of me hiring you to do ChatGPT if I could do it? And I know how to do it as well. You know? So a lot of things like that, not only for writing, but also for narrators. I could tell I've listened to probably tens of thousands of auditions, narrators of real human beings, right? So when you send me an audition on acx.com, a lot of people are many more and more people are using AI for narrator, narration, auditions, audiobook auditions. I could catch that. You might think I don't know, but I know. I've heard too many auditions all throughout my life. So all these people all these problems kept arising. And I'm very picky with who I hire in for narrators and writers. You know, if 100 people apply, I only hire 5 to 10% at best, if at all. Maybe 1% to be realistic. It's gotten to that point because year after year, you know, one book is not going to change my life. With all due respect to everyone and everything, like, I've already published almost 400 audiobooks, or 400 books. For my nonfiction brand. So one book is not going to change my life. That's why like for me. I'm all about quality now. The best writer. Freelancer. Okay. Who has a combination of number one topic. Expertise and excellent writing. And if you don't have all three of those. I'm not interested. I don't care who you are. Okay. I don't care if you're an expert. You've been on TV. And I've, I've had a lot of people. Been experts. Like. I don't want to mention industries, but you'll be pretty impressed. Like, oh, wow, they were there? Yeah, but I find out their writing is not that good. So no matter how great of an expert you are in your topic, if your writing is not good the way I want it for a nonfiction how-to style, I'm going to have to pass. So all these challenges kept arising with me lately. Like Back in the days when I got started, I would just hire a lot of people. Just, all right, go cool, let's go, let's go. But as I kept building my publishing brand, it became less about quantity and became more about quality. So I became more pickier and pickier. I have to. I have a publishing brand now. You know? And that's how you have to think as a publisher. I've learned my journey. Like I said, your first book is your worst book, including myself as a publisher. My first books were the worst. Okay? But that's part of the journey. But over time, you focus on quality. And I started focusing on quality and... It just became harder and harder to find the right person, you know? And then I came about AI and I decided, you know what? Let me let me check out AI. Let me test it out. And next thing you know, I tried out AI for one book. And I was shocked how good it was, the content was. Okay? It's grammatically correct. Compared to if I hire writers... And I didn't hire a ghostwriting company, guys. If I had a ghostwriting company, sure, they're great writers, but they're not legit experts in their topics. I hired one book for one writer. One writer for one book because what most people have only one expertise or one passion they're really passionate about. So if I hired a ghostwriting company, I, wanted, I would have less issues with gramma, uh, grammatical errors probably because, because they focus on hiring good writers, right, and good researchers. But I didn't do that because I wanted to keep my books authentic. But anyhow, I tried out AI. And I was shocked because it was grammatically correct. It was organized. It was comprehensive. The content was comprehensive. And I had less issues working with AI compared to working with real freelancers writers even if they're experts in their topic because a lot of with all due respect to all the freelancers i work with and the ones who finish their work much respect but i would say 70 to about 70 percent of the freelancers i 
hired. They quit or they just didn't finish or I don't know what happened. They stopped reaching out to me. So I had to part ways or sometimes they won't send me work that wasn't good enough. Okay. Or I will see plagiarism from them. I will check their content with plagiarism websites. So I can't work with you. So I don't have to deal with these issues when I work with AI. That's the reason why I'm moving on to AI, guys. And no longer messaging back and forth and giving extension for deadlines after extension, giving people chance after chance. There's a little issues like that all the time, working with people, people are people. But you know, I do my best to understand because I know people have to go through life and whatever. But sometimes I notice when I give you more chances, what's funny is that people don't change. They say they need more time. I give them more time. Okay, it's due in an extra month. The month comes. They say they need more time. I, the more chances I give you, this is what I've noticed. It doesn't change. People don't change. They just take it for granted and they're just like, oh, I, I get, I, got, I have more time. I'm fine. No, they don't finish the book. So I, I don't want to deal with that. I had high hopes hiring you. You're the expert in your topic. I know. I could see. From your cover letter answers, I'm, I've had, you know, I've been able to figure out who I, who's the real deal or not over the years. And but you don't finish the work. Enough excuses. I'm I was just tired of excuses. And that's why I had to move on to AI. And when I went with AI, guys, I don't have these issues. If I want a book done, I get it done. And the content, if I'm focused, I can get it done in a week. That's with me living my life. If I really want to just focus on creating content, I could probably finish that book in a day or two days. I don't have to worry about all these issues. And I'm not even talking about the cost of paying the writers. This is, this is on top of that, I have to pay the writers. So outside of paying, you know, it doesn't cost anything with working with AI. All these issues, I don't have to deal with this here and moving forward. That's why I'm transitioning to AI. You know, all the writers I work with in the past, it's not about you guys. It's about writers like I have to, you know, if you finish the work, I appreciate it. But there's a lot of writers who, who never even got started. I sent them instructions. I sent them multiple messages. I check in with you. They don't finish. I don't know. Just That's just human nature, I guess. You know, it's the 80-20 rule, I think. Pareto principle. 20% will do it and 80% say they will do it, but they don't. You know, you, you got to go with results, guys. At the end of the day. A lot of people will talk, but when it's all about quantity, when you do so much, eventually, it's like... you. You can't just go with words. You got to go with results. What they It's not what they say. Actions speak louder than words. And to be honest with now, with AI, I don't have to deal with that stress. That's a lot of mental stress. Imagine working with some, tons of writers and, and they don't get a finish or they need that. It's just mental stress. I don't have to deal with that stress anymore. You know? Now, if you want to work with me, I'll still work with you. But, like, I'm not I'm not chasing after you writers anymore. I'm not chasing after you guys. Okay? If you want to work with me, you got to prove that you have the criteria that I'm uh, looking for. Okay? With all due respect. Because now I have AI. I don't need all that stress. I could just create content if I want. And I'm doing that. And it just it's just kind of, it's just crazy, man. It's just a new industry. I'm, I'm one of the, a lot of people have still not used AI yet, but I'm telling you, this is just, this is what I see for the future for all industries. Like, um, if you don't adapt to this technology, I mean, how are you going to compete for freelancers or whatever you do, narrators? How are you going to compete? I don't know. So luckily for us publishers, business owners, we're the ones creating content. And so we can use AI, you know, and 
again, I figured out how to use AI. All the years of experience doing hiring freelancers and working with hundreds of books, I know the basic structure how to create a nonfiction book. I would send instructions to the writers to write it like this. Now I send the instructions to AI. And AI does the content for me. And I get it done in two days. Okay. But, but, but for some long books, like the book I'm working on about jobs and careers for all industries, hobbies for all, all types of hobbies, that takes me about a week because it's a very long book. I'm foreseeing maybe 100,000 word book. And now I can do that with AI. So I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just sharing with you. Like, I don't know who watches these videos, but like, I'm telling you, this is the future. This is just a hint of the future, you know? And I'm moving forward. Whether I work with writers or not, I'm moving forward, guys. And uh, like I said, if you want to learn from me, I do have training and I can teach you. I can train you. Okay, or done for your service. I can even create a, a book using AI for you, for your industry. That's my new thing I, I want to do now. If you need done for service, some people, what I take for granted, I realize it's not easy for some people. So don't worry, I have a done for you service. If you want me to use AI to create content for you, a book for you, for your industry, I can do that for you. Okay? So anyhow, hey, I got to go, guys. Got to exercise for the day. Thanks for watching. Click the link below the video. Check out my training and resources. All right, talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.